Hey there, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to create a burr on your knife before you start sharpening. This is a critical piece of getting a really sharp blade, so don't skip over this one. Now, what exactly is a burr? You might be familiar with this by another name. They also go by wire edges, where a little curl of metal is pushed over at the very edge of a blade, denoted by the tips of my fingers here, when you're sharpening on the opposite side. So if I'm sharpening on the right side of a blade, that burr will form on the left side. This is important because with a knife, if it is a little bit dulled out, its, its edge may look like this rather than like this. And we don't have good enough eyesight to actually see that our bevel is reaching all the way to that edge. So when we push over that little curl of metal at the very edge, it confirms that our bevel reaches all the way up to the very edge of the blade. Now, to actually go about restoring the apex of this blade and making sure that your bevel reaches all the way to the edge, we're first gonna start by marking our entire bevel with Sharpie and taking our stones, we will do our edge leading stroke all the way down the length of the blade until all that Sharpie is removed. Now, this may not remove every last bit of Sharpie, but you want it to remove it as consistently across the entire bevel as possible. For those alternating strokes, once the Sharpie has been fully removed from your bevel, have done a really good job of restoring the apex of that bevel, but we can't be entirely sure of that just with our eyesight alone. So now it's time to start actually creating the burr so that we can check that that is actually reaching to the perfect apex. So in order to create the burr, we're going to work on one side at a time. I'm going to do 10 strokes on just one side, same exact pressure, same exact motion. And after those 10 strokes are done, I'm going to check for a burr on the opposite side of the blade. There are a couple different techniques for checking for a burr. My preferred one is just using my fingertip. And you're going to run that up the flat of the blade and when you pass the edge, if you have a burr, you may feel it catch a little bit. It's really easy to do this with a microfiber towel, a cotton swab. Some people like to use your fingernail. Whatever is easiest for you to feel that. The burr may be more pronounced or less pronounced depending on the grid of stone you're using and or the type of blade steel you have. If you don't immediately feel a burr on the opposite side that you sharpen on, then we're actually going to switch sides. So in this case, I was sharpening on the right, checking for the burr on the left, and now I'm gonna do sharpening on the left. So again, I'm gonna do just 10 strokes, exactly the same, down and forwards. Now, this process will take a little bit of time, but if you feel like it is taking an excessive amount of time, well, then you can consider changing up the kind of stroke you're doing. At Wicked Edge, we really love this scrubbing, up and down motion stroke. But make sure that you're looking at your blade from the opposite side to make sure you don't slip off the tip and hurt yourself. When you're doing this scrubbing motion, you wanna make sure that you're not just focusing on one section of the blade, unless it is a section where you're having trouble getting a burr. Oftentimes, I will find that I get a burr in, you know, that part, say, and then there's a little bit here where I can't actually get it immediately. So I will give a little extra attention to that and just scrub in that one location. That is completely okay and will not damage your blade. This process may take a little while, but be patient with it. This is the foundation that the sharpest blades are set on. This is also really dependent on how hard your blade steel is and what grid of stone you're using. So just be patient with it, keep working at it, and don't use too much pressure. Now, once you have pulled a burr, you can feel down the entire length of the blade on both sides of the blade, you're ready to move on to sharpening. 